Yo, what's up guys? Mike Patrick. In this video, I want to talk about how the first time that Christ came, he fulfilled man's will, okay? Now, this video is gonna, going to kind of piggyback off of a video that I just did, that I just posted along the lines of loyalty, okay? Talking about loyalty and a perspective on loyalty, okay guys? Now, Christ came to fulfill man's will the first time with the promise of coming back, okay? Now, the thing is this, guys. Why is why am I doing this video? Why is this important? Why is this important to think about? Well, I'm going to go to um a, a a part in scripture and in Christ's story and so don't quote me on this, but I'm going to be accurate enough in the story that if you are a Christian, a Hebrew, or a religious scholar, anything like that, someone who studies life and, and draws wisdom from scripture and things like that, then you are familiar with, there was a point in the Bible where I want to say the Pharisees had finally came to try to get Christ or whatever, or to come get Christ. And at the time, he had said, who seek thee? I am he. Something like that. And then he did something. And then they just flew back, like the Pharisees flew back or whatever. And he, he was displaying his power and what he was capable of and what he could do. And then um, and then I even think there's something to where the angels was call it, was talk like contemplating or pleading with the most high to, to, to step in and intervene in the situation. Um, but then um, some along the lines of Christ was understood what he had to do and what time it was at that time and what had to happen at that time in order to play things out accordingly, right? And so the angels couldn't couldn't step in, right? And so they were able to go ahead and do what they did to Christ, right? Now, the thing is, I, I say that to say this. We talk about sacrifices, right? Now, this is something that people, that 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 Satanists or people who try to downplay Christ or who are not believers and things like that, this is what they fail to understand or this is what they like to forget, is that it ain't have to go down like that. You see what I'm saying? Like, it, Christ, the angels, the Most High could have debted could have debted it all right then and there. You know what I mean? But in order for prophecy and things to be fulfilled, because he had because he had that much power, you know what I mean? He was like, you know what? And I'm putting this in in my own words and in modern day ways of explaining it. He was like, you know what? Don't worry about it. It's all good. If this what y'all want to do, like you know what I mean? They, 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 this how y'all feel. This is the decisions y'all want to make. This is the choice y'all want to make. This is the way y'all want to live. Right? I'll, you know, I'll accept this, this go around. Okay? But I'm coming back. Alright? And we know all, it's, that's the thing that people don't like. To, and I'm, I, I ain't got a harp on it. You know what I mean? Just, if you're a Christian, if you're a, 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 a Hebrew, if you're a spiritual person, Whatever you subscribe to, right? You know what I mean. You know we're slated for the for the um the comeback, right? And with that said, how is the comeback not fair when he literally gave you a chance the first time, let you do what you did to him, right? And then gave you hundreds and th and or thousands of years, right? To Know the story, get the story, you know what I mean? Build faith, build belief. More importantly, repent for whatever your role was, you know what I mean? Or whatever, whatever. And I know people, you know, and, and yeah, I know people say, well, I ain't have nothing to do with that. I ain't, I ain't trying to get into all that right now. But let's just say, hypothetically, let's, uh, let's just say, gave you a chance, gave you thousands of years to uh, digest everything. And make a choice, right? How is that not fair? 
You see what I'm saying? How is that not fair? So, uh, so I say that to say this. I did a, I did the video about loyalty, right? But I don't want to mean that. I don't I don't want to mean that video, and I don't want to target or corner anybody body in, or give anybody the uh the grounds to say, well, okay, you know, well. A sacrifice is a sacrifice, and anybody can make a sacrifice, right? And therefore, you know what I mean? Who's to say who should make a sacrifice, right? Well, the point is, how many sacrifices have you actually made, right? To On the, um, on the level that Christ made it. You see what I'm saying? Most of you guys cannot, most people cannot sacrifice even just their their way of life or something like that. Like most people, if they would lose it or would die or would be on the brink of dying or spiraling downward, you know what I mean? If if things changed in their life for a lot of people, okay. So they are not really willing to make the sacrifice for a collective or for a. a a, a higher calling or a higher purpose outside of themselves. Christ, the Most High, the angels. The, I don't think the angels. The angels are a different story. Like the angels. The angels are like dogs, if you so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like the angels, just like in that. Like for example, that story I was just telling, which is a biblical story. It the angels is like man. I don't care. Like. I want to go help my master. You know what I mean? Like that. But Christ and the Most High looking at it from a different perspective. So he like, no, I'm going to make the sacrifice. The Most High said, I'm going to sacrifice my son. And then with his son kind of being him at the same time, no different than you kind of being your son at the same time. You see what I'm saying? While your son is kind of their own person, but they still kind of just an extension of you. You know what I mean? It's the same way that he was looking at it and them having that higher perspective, you know what I mean? And that 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 um that human empathy, you know what I mean, and sympathy, Christ being in the in the form of a human, um had to experience certain things too, which gave him a certain level of sympathy and empathy and understanding, right? That the angels don't have. You see what I'm saying? And so with that said, that sacrifice was already made. So when you when people don't think that they can make certain sacrifices, and you might really think that, and so as a man think of, so is what it what it is. So you may be a person who is slated to not be able to adapt or to make repent or make a certain choice. Things like that. That just may be your lot. You see what I'm saying? But at the same time, this is a way for you to look at, and for those of you who can't come to Christ or whatever, whatever, or maybe it just got to be kicked a certain way to you, look at it that way. You know what I mean? The reason why you should repent and give your life to Christ is because he literally gave his life for you. You know what I'm saying? He literally gave his life for you when he didn't have to. Imagine somebody literally not having to do something. They could literally just take their best interest into hand. Yet and still, they take the short end of the stick so you can do whatever you, it is you think you want to do. So all this played out for the past half a thousand years, right? And how, how well did it really work out for you collectively? We know some individuals make made off or make off and things like that but collectively as a body you know what i mean how did that really fare for you you see what i'm saying now it's a thing where okay the shoe is on the other foot or is a you know it's about to be on the other foot what you know whatever right so now it's a justifiable situation because the sacrifice was already made you see what I'm saying? 
and the slate was already made. You can't say you was deceived. You can't say you was tricked. You see what I'm saying? You can't say nothing. It's just literally a choice. And are you gonna get out? You are you gonna get out of your your fleshly ways? You see what I'm saying? Or are you gonna stay in your fleshly ways? You see what I'm saying? Um, but you can't you can't say what what Christ wasn't willing to do for you because he already did it. And then gave you a certain amount of time to get right. See what I'm saying? So that's just a way of, you know, of looking at it too and just some, some extra input that kind of builds on um, the video uh, about loyalty that I just posted. You know what I mean? Things like that. But hopefully this was a good video too. All right, guys. Peace.